Okay, so now we have our Wi-Fi card in monitor mode. We can sniff all the packets that are within our Wi-Fi range, even though they're not directed to our device, and even without connecting to any network, even without knowing the password or username to the network. So, what tool we're we gonna use? We're gonna use a tool called AeroDump NG. It's part of the Aircrack suit. Uh, it's a packet sniffer, allows us to capture all the packets around us. We can uh, run it against all the networks around us, so we'll collect any packet that are within our Wi-Fi range, or we can um, uh, run it against a certain uh, AP or access point, so we'll only be collecting packets that are coming from a certain Wi-Fi network. We'll see how we run the uh, program first. First, you need your Wi-Fi card in monitor mode. I have it now in one monitor mode, and the name of the Wi-Fi card in monitor mode, it's WLAN 0. So we'll just clear this, and we will run AeroDump, NG, and MON0. It's just as simple as that. MON0 is the name of the Wi-Fi card that has monitor mode enabled on it. And now you can see it's starting to list all the networks around us. Another use of AeroDump NG is to identify all the networks around us. Uh, and to identify all the connected devices to these networks. So I'm just gonna control C now to stop sniffing. And we'll just have a quick look now. All the packs that we sniffed now, we didn't save them anywhere. So there was really no point of analyzing the packets because we're just, we just ran it against all the access points around us to see what networks are around us and what they uh, and gather information about these networks. So you can see like there is quite a good bit of networks around me. Um, the BSS ID is the MAC address for the access point. So each, each as we said, each network device has a MAC address and it's here written under the BSS ID column. The PWR is the power. So it's how far is the access point from our Wi-Fi card. You can see the test IP, this is the uh, AP, this is the uh, test router that we will be running a few attacks against. It's here in my room, so it's very close to me. It's minus 34. Um, you can see as you go down, um, the networks are further and further away from me. So the closer the network, um, the easier for you to get to sniff the packets, because obviously um, you're closer and the packets are can, can be collected easier. Um, also, all the attacks that you, we're going to explain in the future, the closer the network to you, the more effective the attack and the, the quicker you will um, gain your access or achieve your goal. Beacons is the signals that the AP send. So each, each access point uh, send a certain type of packets to tell all the clients around it that I exist and I'm there. So even if the network was hidden, it will still send these beacons to tell everyone around that network is I'm here, I'm an AP, I have my BSS ID to be this, and I'm running on this information. So this is the number of beacons that each access point is sending. Uh, the data is the number of useful packets that we have sniffed. We'll talk about this later when we start talking about uh, web uh, decrypting web encryption so we'll just leave this for now s is the number of data packets that we have collected in the past 10 seconds so as you can see we have zero here so zero data packets in the past 10 seconds channel is the number of channel that the access point is broadcasting on so each access point broadcasts on a certain channel this is used so that there is no interference between uh, access points that are beside each other so say for example um, I have an access point here and twin, uh, and like 5 meters from me there is another access point. Um, if both of them are running on the same channel, uh, there will be interference between uh, those two access points and the signal between them will be uh, shorter. So the range of those access points will be shorter. So we use different channels so that there is no interference between the packs that are sent in the air. MB is the maximum speed supported by this access point. So it can go up to 54. Uh, ink is the encryption that's used in uh, the access point. So we see the encryption here is web. Here is WPA2. Um, here is web again. Uh, we have WPA here. 
and if it's an open network you'll see open OPN here in the uh, encryption cipher is the cipher that's used to decrypt the packets so for web it's web but for WPA2 it can be CCMP it could be TKIP um, we'll talk about these later when we get into WPA cracking uh, auth is the type of authentication that's required for uh, this access point so we have PSK pre-shared key here um, we have MGT for this one and we'll talk about this later as well when we go to uh, WPA cracking 